there have been a bunch of developmental materials that have been released to the public with regard to Diary of a Wimpy Kid Loaded Diaper. This is the 17th book in the series and it is scheduled to be released on the 25th of October, but we already have some insight into the text and perhaps some of the drawings that will be visible. Let's start off with a couple of sentences that Greg has written in his diary. Warwick has said that everyone tries to take advantage of a band that's trying to break into the business because they know they're willing to do just about anything, but he said that they had to stick to their guns because if they believed in their music had value, everyone else would believe it too. So from the sense, uh, I get that there's people trying to take advantage of Loaded Diaper, and Warwick is probably a band member. I think this is going to be brought up toward the first half of the book, where Warwick is basically giving uh, Loaded Diaper some advice about not being taken advantage of. Something tells me we're going to be seeing this character Warwick a lot more. Next we have a Greg's Diary entry. Saturday. I thought that after Thursday night the guys would start spending more time practicing for their next show, but they've been too busy trying to figure out how to get this monkey paw off of Mackie's leg. So I'm presuming that Mackie is another bandmate. And we can tell that Roderick's band has gone at least one gig because they had a show on Thursday night. And it probably didn't do well because Greg is recommending that they spend more time practicing. But what exactly is this monkey paw? Well, after doing some research, The Monkey Paw is actually a horror short story, and in the story, three wishes are granted to the owner of the monkey's paw, but they each come at an enormous price. So I think the monkey paw that uh, attaches onto this guy's leg is probably a symbol of bad luck. That's about all I could take away, so let's move on to the next diary entry. Roderick said that there are a lot of places that play music besides radio stations, and then him and the guys made a list of everywhere they've ever heard music in public. I actually think this is going to come more toward the beginning of the book, where Roderick and his bandmates are trying to figure out where to play. And I'm guessing one of them recommended a radio station, or perhaps Roderick's band wasn't good enough to play on a radio station. So it is my guess that Roderick's bandmates are going to try to go to one of these places that they've listed off. But again, this is probably going to come more toward the beginning of the book, because the band is trying to figure out where they could possibly play their music. And now we actually get a little bit more information about the monkey paw. As Greg writes in a diary entry, I guess the electrical current wasn't that strong though, because a second later the monkey paw closed again. And unfortunately for Mackie, this time it clamped on his leg. The monkey paw clamps on Mackie's leg, Mackie screams. That green text is probably what describes the drawing that Jeff Kinney will ultimately make. And I am definitely excited to see what's going on. Up next, we have an unfinished drawing of Roderick and some of his bandmates uh, advertising themselves in a public bathroom. And we can see Roderick and Bill, but we also see two other guys who have never before been visible as part of Roderick's band. I am guessing that one of them is Mackie, and the other one could potentially be Warwick. But in my opinion, I think the context of this is that Roderick and his bandmates had a really, really bad experience, but to kind of save the audience, they decided to advertise themselves. Or, Roderick and his bandmates are just stupid, and decided to do this to gain some sort of notoriety. Up next, we've got an advertisement for free pizza for anyone who auditions for a loaded diaper. This was probably made by Roderick, and again, I think this is going to be found earlier in the book, where Roderick is trying to find new bandmates. Which really brings up the question, why did people leave Roderick's band? I mean, we know Bill stays, but what about all the other guys, like Ward? I think these developments are really setting the scene, and are really getting me excited to find out what Roderick's band really looks like. And something tells me there is no free pizza. And lastly, we've got some drawings of a band rocking out. Now, I'm interpreting this drawing in two ways. I think, first, this is going to be a drawing in a thought bubble, much like Roderick thinking about performing in front of a live audience with his band, and all of those green rectangles that are coming down on him are going to be cash. However, in front of the drums is a logo for a dog, and it's on one of the guys who's playing guitar as well. So perhaps this is a band that Roderick's band is competing against. And perhaps Roderick's band and that band have a bit of a rivalry as they're trying to compete with one another over playing spots and fans. 